What does it take for a nation to join the elite club of countries like the United States, China, and Russia, capable of developing their own fifth-generation fighter jets? India is on the brink of finding out. With the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, India is setting the stage to redefine its role in global defense. So, let's take a closer look at why this project is poised to make a major impact. India's journey toward a fifth-generation fighter jet has been complex, driven by evolving defense requirements. It began with the FGFA, Fifth Generation Fighter Aircraft Project, a joint venture with Sukhoi, the Russian aerospace giant, to develop the Su-57 stealth fighter for the Indian Air Force. However, the project, which kicked off in the early 2000s, faced a series of hurdles that ultimately led to its stall. The challenges were numerous, ranging from disagreements over technology transfer to cost overruns and delays. The Indian side sought more involvement in the development process, particularly in gaining access to critical stealth and avionics technologies. However, Russia was reluctant to share these key technologies. Recognizing these setbacks, India decided to pursue a more self-reliant path with the AMCA. This new project aimed to create an indigenous fifth-generation fighter tailored to the Indian Air Force's needs while showcasing India's growing aerospace capabilities. By focusing on in-house development, India sought to take full control over the design, development, and deployment of its next-generation fighter jet. But why does India need the AMCA? The answer lies in the aging fleet of aircraft in the Indian Air Force, particularly the Su-30 MKI, which has been a reliable multi-role fighter, but lacks the stealth and advanced capabilities of modern fifth-generation jets. Though still powerful, it belongs to an earlier generation and is not equipped to handle the demands of contemporary aerial warfare. The AMCA aims to fill this gap by providing a stealthy, agile, and technologically advanced replacement that can excel in various roles such as air superiority, ground attack, and electronic warfare. In essence, this fighter jet is India's ticket to maintaining air dominance in a rapidly changing global landscape, where air superiority is more crucial than ever. The AMCA journey began in 2010 with a crucial feasibility study to assess India's ability to independently develop a fifth-generation fighter jet. This comprehensive evaluation of technological, financial, and industrial resources yielded promising results, prompting the Indian government to greenlight the project. By 2013, the project entered the preliminary design phase, where engineers from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Aeronautical Development Agency created and evaluated nine different design concepts. After rigorous testing between 2013 and 2015, one design emerged as the front-runner. Characterized by a diamond-shaped wing configuration, a V-tail, and a focus on stealth, this design met the initial requirements and showed potential for future upgrades. In 2016, the Indian Air Force formally accepted this design, marking the transition from conceptual work to detailed design and development. A significant milestone came in early 2024 when the Indian government allocated approximately $1.9 billion for prototype development, enabling the construction of five prototypes for extensive testing. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Now let's take a closer look at the technical details of this new fighter jet. However, it's important to note that much of the information is still classified or under development, so our discussion will involve some educated assumptions based on the limited details that have been made public. The AMCA's design strikes a balance between stealth and agility, essential qualities for a fifth-generation fighter jet. At its core is a twin-engine configuration, providing the necessary thrust for high-speed maneuvers and redundancy, ensuring continued operation even if one engine fails crucial for maintaining performance in combat. The trapezoidal wings enhance both stability and stealth by reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it harder to detect while improving aerodynamic efficiency for better high-speed maneuverability. The V-tail combines the functions of traditional vertical and horizontal stabilizers into a single, angled surface, further reducing radar reflections and contributing to the aircraft's stealthy profile. Combined with its sleek angular body, the V-tail minimizes radar hotspots, making the fighter harder to track. Stealth extends beyond design with internal weapon bays that keep munitions stored inside the fuselage, reducing the radar signature compared to external pylons. 
This allows the AMCA to maintain a low profile until it's ready to strike. Additionally, the aircraft incorporates radar-absorbing materials into its construction, designed to absorb and scatter radar waves, further reducing detection chances. With an estimated 30 to 40 percent of the airframe made from advanced composites, the fighter jet is poised to be one of the stealthiest aircraft in the skies, at least on paper. While the airframe keeps the AMCA hidden, its advanced avionics ensure it strikes effectively when needed. At the heart of its avionics suite is the UTAM Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously and providing high-resolution battlefield mapping. What sets ASA radars like UTAM apart is their ability to emit multiple radar beams at different frequencies, making them harder to jam or detect, giving the AMCA a decisive edge in electronic warfare. The platform is also expected to feature fly-by optic controls, an upgrade from traditional fly-by-wire systems. These fiber optic cables are immune to electromagnetic interference, making them more reliable in combat scenarios where electronic warfare is prevalent. Additionally, fiber optics are lighter than copper wires, reducing the aircraft's overall weight, an important factor when every kilogram counts. Moreover, the avionics are designed to be modular and upgradable, allowing new technologies to be integrated without a complete redesign. This forward-thinking approach ensures the fighter jet remains relevant as the technological landscape evolves. When it comes to engines, the AMCA project is taking a two-phased approach, reflecting both pragmatism and ambition. The fighter is expected to come into two variants. The Mark I variant will be powered by the General Electric F414 engine, a tried-and-tested power plant that currently powers other aircraft like the FA-18 Super Hornet. The F414 is known for its reliability and performance, producing around 90 kN of thrust. While not the most powerful engine, it's a solid choice for the AMCA's early stages, ensuring dependable performance during initial development and testing. However, the real game-changer is expected to come with the Mark II variant, which will feature a more powerful, domestically developed engine, currently being co-developed with international partners like Safran from France. This new engine aims to produce up to 110 kN of thrust, enabling supercruise capability, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, a key feature of fifth-generation fighters, allowing the AMCA to cover greater distances efficiently. And supercruise is one of the aircraft's most anticipated features. While the Mark I variant is expected to achieve respectable speeds, the Mark II variant aims to excel with targeting speeds upwards of Mach 2. However, these figures are based on current projections and could change as the project progresses and testing refines the aircraft's performance. Beyond speed, the platform is expected to have an impressive combat range of approximately 1,600 kilometers, enabling it to engage distant targets without needing immediate refueling. In terms of payload, the AMCA is designed to carry up to 3,300 pounds of munitions internally within its stealthy weapon bays and an additional 11,000 pounds on external hardpoints. This versatile payload capacity allows the aircraft to deploy a mix of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and standoff weapons, including the Astra missile family, an indigenous series optimized for both short-range dogfights and beyond visual-range combat. Now, as we've just seen, this fighter jet sounds incredibly promising, but as you might expect, building it comes with significant challenges. The biggest hurdle? The engine. Developing a new engine from scratch is no small feat. It requires advanced materials, engineering expertise, and rigorous testing to ensure long-term reliability. Historically, India has relied on foreign engines for its combat aircraft, like the Russian origin engines in the Su-30 MKI or the General Electric engines in the Tejas. While these engines have served well, they come with limitations, particularly regarding strategic autonomy. Dependence on foreign technology means that any disruption in supply chains or political relations could impact the readiness and operational capabilities of the Indian Air Force. This is where partnerships with international firms like Safran are crucial. Such collaborations not only provide access to cutting-edge technology, but also help build India's own capabilities in engine design and production. Timelines for these developments are often ambitious and delays can occur as engineers work to perfect the design. However, if successful, this engine will mark a significant leap forward for India's aerospace capabilities, 
reducing reliance on foreign technology, and boosting the indigenous defense industry. For decades, India has relied heavily on foreign suppliers for military hardware, making it one of the largest importers in the world. While these acquisitions have strengthened India's defense, they've also exposed the country to external pressures, supply chain disruptions, and changing geopolitical dynamics. The AMCA project marks a strategic shift towards reducing this dependence by promoting domestic innovation and production. By developing a fifth-generation fighter jet in-house, India moves closer to strategic autonomy, crucial for maintaining national security. This autonomy allows India to control the entire life cycle of its defense technology, from design to production and maintenance. Looking ahead, the timeline for the AMCA is both ambitious and clear. The first prototype is expected to roll out by 2027, with its maiden flight anticipated around 2028. Following this, the focus will shift to rigorous flight testing, where the aircraft's performance, systems, and capabilities will be thoroughly evaluated. Each subsequent prototype will incorporate improvements based on lessons learned from earlier tests, ensuring a steady progression toward refinement. If all proceeds according to plan, initial production of the AMCA is projected to begin around 2032. By 2034, the Indian Air Force aims to achieve full operational capability, fully integrating the AMCA into its operational fleet. As the project moves closer to realization, with production and full operational capability on the horizon, the AMCA is poised to not only modernize the Indian Air Force, but also solidify India's position as a key player in global defense. The journey ahead is challenging, but the potential rewards for India's security and technological leadership are immense.